Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa halal uqdatan min lisani yakaru kawli. Sallallahu ala sidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah rabbi wa alamin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alam nasyrah laka sadarah. Wa wada'ana an khabisrah. Al-lazim pada sahrah. Wa rafa'ana laka sihrah. Fa inna ma'al sri sirah. Inna ma'al sri sirah. Fa iza farah tafansak. Wa ila rabbika farah. Alright. So... First of all, I want to discuss about your homework. So let me share my screen. So ada yang belum mengantar homework kamu? So yang belum mengantar ada. So there's five of you. There's four of you who have not submitted. So Amir Daim sudah sudah join the school lah. So Syahmi belum mengantar. Alicia Balum sama Aiman Iskandar. So we're gonna go through the answer first. Here, let me open it. <clears throat> okay, let's go through some of the some of the answer. So definition of science. Ini one point tu saja mananya many ada yang buat salah lah. Okay, the first mistake that I realize is ni nak yang menjawab pakai Google. As I told you, don't use Google. That is the answer that we don't accept for your exam. So the one for your exam, we're gonna refer with the one from your textbook. So if you refer to your textbook. Definition of science is on the very first page. So study of science help us to understand the things we see and how they affect our reality. So if you mention see, which means observation, yeah. and if you mention how, which is experiment, then you get the atulah, you get it correct. However, if you Google the answer and copy paste, you don't get the marks. So bukannya seorang saja that this this, there are several of you who did that. Okay, satu satu, and then, yeah, ni, it should be two marks. So see around us and how it affects our life should be two marks, not zero marks. Okay, so later on you can check your marks. So if you only write down, help us to understand things around us, you get one mark because it's not complete. Okay, like this one again, Google, send accept. Okay, sign is an experiment. You mentioned the word experiment, so I give one mark only. All the rest, not that. Okay. So that is the first part. If you only mention observation experiment, but explaining what's going on, you also get one mark only. Okay. Now, second one. For the second question is system laboratory safety rules and why safety rule exists. So why it exists? Uh, most of you got this correct. I think yang dapat lurus, for example, this one three marks. You answer the first question. But you did not answer the second question, which is the D. The question is, give a reason why safety rule exists. Can it exist? So it exists to prevent harm or injury. This is also inside your textbook. So precaution to prevent harm or injury. Okay. And then ada yang dapat zero marks. Okay. So this one is not doesn't answer the question, that's why you don't get the marks, okay? So when you answer it during exam, nanti, make sure you answer it properly. If you only get two marks like this one, it means you only give two instead of three and you didn't answer the third question, okay? So take note. Next one. The third one. What should you do when an irritable substance go get into your eyes? So not everyone got full marks, so over average is 1.4. So, if you follow the answer inside your textbook, it should be simply as go to nearest Iowa station, this one, nearest Iowa station, and then rinse to clear the irritation. So, these are the two marks that I'm looking for. If you write down wash your eyes, that one is incorrect. It must be rinse to clear the irritation. Okay. So let me check the 
Okay, so it's correct. So some of you lose your marks in this part. So yeah. Let's see who did not care. If irritable substance go into your eyes, you must yeah. wash your eyes. So we don't wash our eyes, we just rinse it. So the word wash is incorrect. Okay. So one mark again. Again, wash your eyes again. That's why only one mark. Wash your eye real quick. No, zero marks. You need to mention go to nearest eye wash station or and rinse. And again, nearest eye wash station and rinse. Uh, this should be two marks. Let's have a look again. Irritable substance go to you should get a towel. So no, not get a towel. Like I mentioned today, should be go to nearest Iowa station and rinse your eyes, not using a towel at all. Wash your eyes again. Wash. So please remember, go to nearest Iowa station, but only to rinse. Rinse mananya, you make the water flow to your eyes. Okay. Kalau, if I mark you wrongly, when you check back later, make sure you check, inform me, so I can give you your mark. Okay, nearest I was, and yeah, I did, cannot give mark because spelling error. So, S-T-A-T-I-O-N. All right, and the last question. Is name two hazard symbol? And explain what happened. So, if you inform, if you write down, for example, explosive, the example is sodium metal or any of these, and you explain what is definition like this one explosive red balloni, then you get full three marks for each part. If you only mention like this one radioactive is a substance that emit harmful radiation without giving the example, you only get two marks. Same with this one. OK, so make sure you answer it completely. OK. Okay, that is all enough. Okay, now get ready your textbook. We're gonna highlight some some of the information. After that, uh, we're gonna start doing the. We're gonna draw first. So I don't have my textbook. Okay, Carla, if you don't have, just take note first. So later on, you're gonna draw the proper drawing line. Okay, so if you have your textbook, you're gonna highlight from page six to page nine. I'm gonna show you. So last time you have we have done the practical together. So today we're going to do scientific drawing the right way. OK, but before that, we need to highlight textbook page six to nine. So first of all, go to your textbook page six. So last time we have highlighted until here, page five. Now we have to highlight the common laboratory apparatus. Okay. First of all, if you have here filter funnel, so filter funnel, the function is to transfer liquid into container. So in exam, you don't have to write down all these sentences. Just have to answer the, the highlighted one. Transferring liquid into containers. And you have to add on this information. It is used in filtration. It's not written in your book, so you have to add this on. Beaker for containing chemicals or liquid. So it's the same thing. The second sentence means the same thing. That's why it's, uh, I only use the first part containing chemicals or liquids. The third one, test tube to for small amount of chemicals and you mix or heat it. So you can heat the test tube, but you don't boil it. So we don't boil it. So you add this information, not for boiling. Usually we use only for water bath. Okay. Boiling tube to boil liquid during experiment. Only boil liquid during experiment. Conical flask, like I showed to you during the lab, it is used to mix chemical, but no heating is involved. So you put chemical inside here, but you don't mix, uh, you don't heat it up. Evaporating dish to evaporate liquid in solution, and there is a separation technique called evaporation, just this one. Okay, I'm going to show you for uh, two minutes and make sure you add on all this information inside your textbook. So it's minute, it's minute, two minute lah. Copy down inside your book, your textbook. So when you come back to school, Exercise I'm going to check. Huh? Exercise book. No, no, no. You open your textbook and then you highlight to na, yang page six. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes first. Kalau you mau melepaskan your bin bag, I will sign the divorce papers. Never sign the divorce papers. Okay, next one. So later on, if you miss out this information, just repeat the video. So wire gauze and tripod stand are always together. And the function of this one is to support apparatus during heating and spread the heat of a flame. Measuring cylinder to measure volume of liquid and measurement are taken below meniscus. We're going to learn this one next week when we when I'm going to bring you guys to the lab. Dropper, the keyword is drop by drop. So you add small volume of liquid drop by drop. Glass rod, not used to mix, but to stir chemicals. So when you stir, it will be mixed. And last but not least is test tube holder. So these are the 10 apparatus that you need to memorize an exam. OK. So the highlighted one are the answer that you're looking for bila ara exam nanti. And last time, the highest mark was three marks by Pingan Arayana. And the drawing is actually like this. So every time the exam asks you, it says draw the outline of or the cross section. It means you have to draw the scientific drawing. OK, all the example, uh, all the drawing are given here, but we're going to draw together after this one by one because it's important for you to know how to draw the apparatus. OK, however, we're going to do that at the end because I want to go through the Bunsen burner first. Last time during the practical, I've shown you that there are different parts of the Bunsen burner. So the most common laboratory gas burner is called Bunsen burner. This one is the all version. We don't have this in the lab. So if you look here at the very end, sini ni nada gas. Kalau kita ni lihat, if you look at the one that we use in the lab, at the bottom of this one there is gas. So this one is connected to external gas supply. Macam masak di rumah ada tong gas. So same with this one, it's connected to tong gas. Okay. Now, and you have to memorize how to light up a Bunsen burner. I've shown you during the practical last time. Number one, make sure the air hole is closed. So you don't have to mention turn the color. The important thing is that you make sure the air hole is closed. That is number one. Second one, you can actually combine step two and step three together because when you light a match, you're going to light it up on top of the barrel. OK, so step one, make sure the air hole is closed. Step two, light a match on top of the barrel. And then step three, you turn on the gas and you obtain luminous flame. And if you look there, I underline the letter O because that O mean orange. So luminous mean orange. And when you open the air hole, it become non-luminous, which is non-orange. And when you open the air hole, what happens is that air or oxygen goes into the air hole causing complete combustion and the flame become blue and hotter. OK, so make sure you highlight all this information. When you highlight it, all the information will become uh, precise and shorter in the panjang panjang. So first make sure the air hole is closed, then light a match on top of the barrel and turn on the gas to get a luminous flame. And when you open the air hole, oxygen will go in and mix with the gas, causing it to become non-luminous flame. So make sure you highlight and copy this into your book. I'm going to give you two minutes to do that one. <clears throat> okay. After this, you're going to be given a classwork slash homework, kalau anda sampai jadi homework, where you have to answer this one. It will ask you what is the step, what is the different part of the Bunsen burner, and so on. There will be four questions. Okay, so bah, tunggu lah dulu. Buat tu dulu. I'll give you two minutes. To what again? Apa? Highlight. Yeah, 
Highlight and oh, copy the information. Sudah siap? Dah pak, sebagai dominant lagi. Copy In where? Case. Textbook, textbook. Okay. How do we copy it? Apa? How do we copy it? Where do you copy it? Yeah. Do we have to copy it on textbook? Have yeah. Textbook? No, no, textbook. So your textbook should be similar to this one. Highlighted like this and have information like this as well. The good thing is that this is recorded, so later on, if you miss anything, you can just copy it back. Okay, I'm going to give another one minute. Till 11.55, okay, we have enough time. Okay, the important one is this one. Huh? Oxygen goes in, causing complete combustion and the flame become hotter. All right. Then Just a few more seconds. All right. So, although the function of all this part of Bunsen burner is written here, these are the one that they are not going to use for exam. The one that they're going to use for exam is this diagram. Therefore, you need to memorize the diagram and labeling and function. Okay. So make sure you write down the function, the barrel, the one on the long part here, is where air and mag the gas mix. The color is where you open or close the air hole. Okay, I'll check the wrong text. Teacher, my textbook is already highlighted. Okay, good. So this one is for those who have not, whose book have not been highlighted yet. Okay. And I believe that none of you have written this down before because I've never done this before with previous classes. So make sure you write down the function. Color, you can turn it to open or close the air hole. The air hole to allow air to enter. So that air is actually oxygen, specifically oxygen to enter. Gas knob, to open or close the flow of a gas. So when you turn this on, the gas from here will go up and gas cartridge is to store the gas. So all the bottom part is gas cartridge. Now, in classroom, I will ask them to draw it inside their exercise book. But for your class, you just have to draw it here. I'm going to guide you. So at the side of your textbook, at the, draw a Bunsen burner. So how do you draw it? This. So draw a rectangle at the bottom to represent gas cartridge. So that one is gas cartridge. And then you draw the barrel followed by the muzzle on top. Make use sure, of course, yes, drawing always use pencil. Thing like that. After that, you draw the color. You can draw it as uh, quite a bit like that, just to show that there's a color. And at the side, you draw gas knob. And at the center, there should be air hole. OK, so. When you label, make sure you draw a line like that. So this one is barrel. This one is color. This one is gas knob. This one is air hole. Air hole. Barrel. Hola, careful your spelling. And last one. Yes. OK, 
Okay, and the bottom is gas cartridge. So for the Bunsen burner, we don't require to draw accurately because most of the time they will give you the drawing and they'll ask you to label and write down the function. Okay, I'm going to give two more minutes. Don't forget to write down all these functions inside your textbook. So later on, it's easy for you to refer barrel where air and gas mix inside here color to open or close the air hole air hole to allow air or oxygen to enter the gas knob to open or close the flow of gas and gas cartridge to store gas so spelling of cartridge is c-a-r-t r-i-d-g-e many students spell it cartridge c-a-t not cat but cart cartridge okay so again gentle reminder memorize the diagram labeling and the function it will be out in your test it will be out in your exam so it's good to memorize it early <clears throat> okay next one there are two different types of lamp as you know one is luminous and one is non-luminous so you have to memorize the differences so for example luminous the letter o is orange and the flame is unsteady it produces soot so soot means smoke and it's hot however when compared to non-luminous it's blue it's much more steady it doesn't produce any smoke or soot and it's hotter than luminous flame so memorize any two or three. It depends on what is given during the exam. And the question that you're going to answer, there will be four questions. However, for you group, it is already digitalized. So if you look there, number one, draw, which you don't have to do. Other class have to do it. Identify and state the function of the different part of the Bunsen burner, just this one. There are five altogether. So if you look there, there's 10 marks. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how you get 10 marks. Second one, write down the step involved of, to obtain a fl luminous flame. So you have seen the step today. First, make sure the air hole is closed, light a match on top of the barrel, and turn on the gas to get luminous flame. Only until here. No need to mention the last one. Number three, explain what are the changes observed. The double is a good. Let me remove one. Oh, belong. Adoy. Okay. The question is here. Sama saja. Let me copy. I don't know what happened with the ilang today. So, number three, explain what are the changes observed when the air hole is open. So, that one is this one. So, when the air hole is open, it become non-luminous and the color become blue and the flame become hotter. And last one, state two differences that you can observe between luminous and non-luminous flame. So any two of this, okay? I'm gonna give this one as your assignment. So you can do it as homework. So let me assign it to you right now. And submit it by Monday at most. So yang ini, yang belum mengantar itu, please antar jua. So let me set the assignment sekejap. It's week five. And I'll give it to you as homework. Uh, it's quick check. QC9. Give the link. See, pa, lapas ni we're gonna draw together. Okay. <coughs> 
So this one, homework, which quick check, which nine. So altogether there is 19 marks. And the due date is this Monday, next Monday. So on the 7th. And to do stanga pagi. Okay. So I'll be checking it. So yeah, so you should have it soon. Lupa suka di title. Science. All right. Now, get a paper. Eh, open your exercise book and open it like this. So similar thing like last time, but right now at the function. So I'm going to give you uh, 10 minutes to copy this down to your exercise book. If you do not have your exercise book yet, uh, use paper. So give it nine space for you to draw. So later on, we're going to draw together. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do that. Exercise book, a new page. Teacher, use yep. the paper or a book? If you have your exercise book, do it inside your exercise book. If, if, you, if you don't have your exercise book, you can do it on a paper. So if you look there, all this function are the one you highlighted inside your textbook just now. So that is the function. Make sure there's enough space for you to draw. Yes? Look at the textbook or try to remember. Uh, you copy this one, exactly the same, like this one. After that, I'm going to teach you how to draw. You don't draw oh. yet. Okay. You don't draw yet. We're going to draw together after you copy everything. Okay. So copy it first. So later on, once you're done, we're going to draw together like this one, like what I did with other class, okay? So copy first. No. Make sure you get ready your ruler, pencil, and eraser sure. as well. So later on, yeah. Do we only write the important parts? So you copy exactly the one here. So. All the one here are the important part. Oh. It's already shortened already. This is the shortest one. Okay. The simplest one. Teacher, do we have to yes. uh, give space? Yeah. Just, uh, we're going to draw as just a small one, but make sure there's enough space. Okay. You don't have to draw it big. Once you're done, please raise your hand so I know uh, we can continue. Okay. 
Teacher. <laughs> yes. Uh, does it have to be in a box? Papa? Does it have to be in a box? All those. Uh, uh there will be ten apparatus. The last apparatus will be combined into one. So tripod stand and wire gauze, we're going to draw as one. Oh. So there'll be nine. Like what you did last time, but the one that you did was wrong. So today we're going to do it the right way. Teacher, okay. I'm not sure if I have enough space to make the whole box. Okay, we can try. We try first. So if it doesn't fit, we can just redo it again. Practice make perfect anyway. Okay, the class is until what time? Ah? Let me double check sekejap pa. Takut senda cukup masa. Our class is until 11.35. Now it's 11.20. Okay, so I'm going to screenshot this one. Later on, you can copy the function. I'm going to screenshot this one and post it into your channel. Abang, you've done? I have already screenshotted it. Okay, good. So just in case, for the rest of you, I'm just going to post it into the center channel and we're going to start drawing together now for reference i'm going to do this for reference right i'm going to do it with your pencil the first one we're going to draw a test tube together so this one was what i did so we're going to start from scratch i'm still not done i'm still not done nah. I'm going to give another five minutes. Let's see if we have enough time. Done? No. Okay. So if you're done, just raise your hand like this. So at least I know. Okay, two more minutes, huh? Tak on the zip up, sir. Okay, eleven twenty four. One more minute. So that we're gonna start drawing. Later on for the drawing, just submit in the channel. I believe you, all of you will get it correct after this. Inshallah. Okay. 
2024 still. All right, it's 11.25. We only have 10 minutes. So later on, you can just copy down the function from the channel because I've already posted it there. So later on, you can just click this one and copy whatever you miss out. OK, now this one that you need to draw is a test tube. You need to have a ruler. Use a ruler like that one and draw two lines side by side. So just thin line. And after that, at the bottom, you draw a curve. Make sure it's a very nice curve, no broken line whatsoever. And at the very top, just make a short line like that. Make sure there's no broken line up on. Like that. Teacher? Yeah? Do, uh, what the number one? Yes. This is a test okay. tube, which is number one. So no need to draw it as big, as long as it looks like this, okay? And number two is boiling tube. So it is the same thing but just slightly bigger and taller. So cumato and basar sikit. So this one is number two. Same thing. Then at the bottom, draw a curve. And on top, you make the two line. Make sure no broken line whatsoever, but I'm okay. Nice, not very nice to the game. So, anang banyak trial and error, walaupun sepupun sama juga. So, make sure there's a line. Yep, like that. So, you have test tube, you have boiling tube. The third one is a beaker. So, beaker should be shorter than these two. So, make sure you draw it short like that. And it's wider than these two. So two lines side by side. And then two lines at the bottom. And if you look there, there's an extra space there. So you combine it with a curve. You see a two. Because a beaker is curved, not sharp. So kalau digital payah sikit ah kalau kamu senang sikit tu. Like that, sambung. And then on top of it sama juga ada small thing like that. Okay. So that's a beaker number 3. Test tube, the smallest boiling tube quite big and then measuring uh, a beaker, the widest. And after that, number four is conical flask. So conical flask, you draw the neck first. Again, use ruler. Draw the neck on top. Make sure the neck is not too thick, not too thin. And then make it angular. Make sure both sides as close as possible. I'm using 65 degrees. Second buat rata. Like that. Another side pun sama jiwa. 65 degrees. At the bottom, make a line. Sama macam beaker tadi, you just make a line. And after that, you combine with a curve at the edge. If you draw it sharp, then you lose smart again. So make a curve as smooth as you can. OK. 
Then on top of it, just like the ear, the same thing, like the beaker, test tube, and boiling tube. Yeah. So now you have the four drawing test tube, boiling tube, beaker, and conical flask. Next one is measuring cylinder. So measuring cylinder should be the tallest among all of this, and it will be slightly different. So you draw two line first. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Yeah, I just start here. Cuma tu. And the thing about measuring cylinder is at the bottom there is a base. So a base like a trapezium, so you're going to draw a line at the bottom. So use ruler, draw a line at the bottom, tamukan. And bawahnya lagi should be a bit wider, so a trapezium like base, so tamukan. Okay, kalau ada extra padam. So we want it to be as neat as you can. And on top also there should be the curve and not the curve. Something no, salah. So atas sekali that one and that one. The differences between measuring cylinder and the other four is that you can use measuring cylinder to measure liquid, so you add line inside it. So you can use freehand, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, something like that, okay, which shows that it is used for measurement. Last time you lose mark because you draw a line on top, so there is an opening. So without, if you have opening like, uh, if you make a line on top like this, ada tutup sini, tutup di atas, tutup di atas, tutup di atas, you automatically get it wrong. So the important one is that make sure it's not covered. Okay. So next one, number five is this one is number four. Teacher. Number five is and number six plus road yes the measuring cylinder no lines or you have to put lines you have to put lines like this that lines indicate it's a measurement okay for a glass road some of you got one mark last time because it's very simple just have to draw two lines close to one another let's draw it here like that and make sure it's not too wide, so it should be thin. And then at the very end of the line, you just add curve. Because a glass rod is curved at the end, like that. And that's how you get one mark for the glass rod. Try to do it as neatly as you can, yeah, like that glass rod. After glass rod, we have to draw filter funnel. If I'm not wrong, filter funnel. Glass rod. Yes, filter funnel. So filter funnel, same okay. use ruler. Yeah. It's 11.34 yes. already. I know. That's why there's two more drawing. We're going to complete it. So next one, you have this. Both sides similar. Five degrees. After that, at the bottom, one line should be longer than the other. Uh, 
and one side should be shorter than the other one, like that. For evaporating dish, it's just a simple curve. All you need to do is throw it like that. No ruler needed. And last but not least, evaporating dish. Just one more left. Evaporating dish. You just have to make the leg first. So one leg. And another leg, two leg side by side. Like that. And on top of it, just one single line. And for wire gauze, that's it for tripod stand. So there's one, two, three line. And wire gauze, you just have to throw X five times. One. Literally an X five times. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. So that is the drawing. Okay. I'm going to screenshot this one because time is up. And later on, you can copy it inside for your reference. So I'm going to screenshot this. And I'm going to paste this into your channel for you to refer, okay? All right, that's all. I'm going to paste it to your book first. After that, you may go to your class. Sorry, the cukup masa. Okay, there you go. You can refer to that one. Okay, all right, that's all. Thank you. Bye, take care. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi